So, I mean, basically what we're going to do this evening is to, to build on the different types of, you can manipulate hackles. We started last week with a straightforward uh, head hackle, shoulder hackle. So what we're going to do is to tie a, a body hackle. Um, we'll just start off winding the silk down the body to the end of the shank, just to a point just in front of the barb. And we're going to use a, a golden pheasant crest feather. We used the, the tip, uh, tip it last week and we're going to use the golden pheasant crest feather. Well, these have a particular mind of their own. They, they very often twist and bend. Um, what I did do with that one was actually steam it. Just put it over a, um, a kettle to try and straighten it out a bit. So I'll just take a feather and just lay it on top of the shank and try and get a straight as you can. I mean, sometimes it'll curve one way or the other and try not to tie it too long. That's the other thing which will help. So I'm just sort of tying that quite short. Then I'm going to take a piece of silver oval and just wind a few turns, hold it in place, and then take some black seals fur and just take off a little bit from the edge, probably about a pea size. You don't need a great deal and just spin that on silk. Just putting a few turns on now and then winding up the body, trying not to make it too thick. Okay, just one there. Try not to come too close up to the head. I think that's about fine. And then just put one turn or two turns in to hold it. Now, what you can do at this stage before we even put the hackle on is just rub it up a little bit just to get some fibers showing. And then we're going to take a a black cock hackle, about this size, and just pinch out. If you notice the, the bottom of the, the hackle, there's a sort of fluffy waist bit. We're just going to pinch that out with the thumb and forefinger, and then we can tie this in. A few turns there. 
you know, if I could see what I was doing with my reading glasses. But uh, what I like to do is just give it a little pinch. I should have said, actually, that you want the shiny side facing you. Because when we turn this feather over, it should run facing backwards. Now I like to do three turns of the head close together and then put the, the hackle plier on and then do quite open turns down the body. So I'm only going to get three, maybe four turns out of this, which is fine. And then take the end of the, the hackle right the way back over the back of the hook and then catch it in with the first piece of the, the wire. And then we're going to do three very open turns. Pull the hackle right back so you're not going to catch any of the, the fibers and then just hook it in underneath and then pull it tight. Pull the oval tight. And that will secure it in place. And cut that off now. And you can just, with your hackle, uh, your scissor tips, just push it out like that. So we're almost done. We've got the, the head hackle to go. But what I'm going to do is just open up the fibers with a Velcro pad just to have a bit of shape and then we're going to take um what did i take a, an orange cock hackle california Tell a light, I've just realized what I've uh, done. I'm going to put in a, a ginger hen hackle. Oh, quite a, a nice long one on this fly. So again, pinch out the stub of the hackle and just tie that in like so. And then Probably too long, but there again, some people do like a, a very long end hackle at the front. We'll just turn it over like so, pull it tight. So as you can see, compared to 
another one I've got up. I've put quite a a big head hackle on that. But again, it's up to you. You can, you can uh, just do whatever that, you like. The, the, the left slightly marked that other example uh, just near the device head. That's that's better. It's nice. And you saying you researched the original pattern there? The um, original pattern was a um, a red game cock hackle. But I think most people would tend to use a, a hen hackle these days. But, um, you know, there's, there's lots of variations with this. I'll just show you a few. Um, this one I've tied up with yellow wool. Oh, my God. <laughs> Lovely. And that's got an orange grouse hackle on, on it. So quite a stiff... Hackle at the front. I, I think I can see some blue jay knocking around in there. Is that guinea fowl, blue guinea fowl as well? On uh, underneath the orange. No, no, no. That's just purely a, a black rock hackle. Mark, when what is that emulating, and when would you use it? Okay, it's it's what they call a top dropper or bob fly. So when you fish lock style, you're on, on the boat and you're dabbling this over the the wave to create a, a, a wake. So it's just sort of stimulating um, by um, by motion as much as anything. Thanks. The fly. That one, that's uh, sunburst um, marabou in there with a, a Cree, orange Cree hackle at the front, just a little bit softer than the grouse. Oh, I see that the light was catching the black cock hackle. There. Yeah. You can look a bit blue, that's why I thought. And I mean, you can use that color combination or that I mean basically we're talking about the the the, uh, the Palmer hackle I mean that's a Kate McLaren snatcher what do you think of that Peter for the reservoirs that snatcher yeah they're, like, they're good the old snatchers aren't they yeah just remind me when we tie along just to show you how to uh, prepare a, a snatcher hackle it's quite simple once you've got the hackle in place. We'll just do just a... strip, strip the fibres. But if you're right-handed, you want to strip the... Um, I'll just put that in the vise. So we've got the hackle here, shiny side towards us. When we tie it in, we're tying that shiny side towards us. So what we do is take off... the fibers on that side. Just pinch them out. And that will wind in like so. And because you've stripped half the fibers off, it's, it's, it's half the, uh, the thickness. You could, there's no reason why you couldn't tie that Kate McLaren using just half the, uh, the fibers anyway, if you wanted a lighter body. There's no reason why you couldn't do that. And, <clears throat> you know, you, you come on to things like bumbles and palmers, soldier palmer, that sort of thing. Very often you would strip that, um, that hackle by half anyway. So there's, there's lots of different uh, options with the, the body hackle. Uh, the other thing is with a body hackle like this, we can now talk about what um, you would do with tying a bumble, and that's using two hackles. So you've you've put a black, usually a darker hackle, in front of a a lighter hackle. Um, I'm just looking to see if I've got any spare hackles around just to show you the effect. If you look at 
black and yellow tied together. You'll see a, a sort of greenish color coming out. I'll just bend the, probably better than daylight, but uh, I mean the bumble patterns, certainly the, the Irish bumbles use color, two colors together very, very effectively. I'll just check in with the chaps, uh, Mark, just to see how everyone's doing. Okay, well, shall we start a, a fly or are you, you tying along? <laughs> yeah, because that was a run through, isn't it? We'll go through the cake yeah. more slowly now. If that's all right. Mark, how, how do you feel about that? Are you? Yeah, looking forward to it. Jace, you, ca you okay? Good, I'm tying along. Okay, everyone's, okay. everyone's good. Any I'm questions? Just, I mean, this fella's seen better days. I've caught out quite a few trying to find a good one. Mm -hmm. You want to take the, the, the golden pheasant topping from the, <coughs> near the beak. Don't go for one of these big jobbies. <laughs> you want to take it sort of uh, quite near the, uh, the base. So we just start off. So you tie that to oval on the side there, Mark, would you? Yeah. On the side. On the side. So we'll put the seal spur on. Secret is to not to overdo the the seal spur. You want just a thin covering. You've left quite a bit of room there, Marcus. Um, I have, yeah. That, is that two eye widths, would you say, back? Nearly two eye Two high eye widths on this one, yes. Um, I'm going to use a, a cock hackle rather than the, um, the, the hen hackle just to see how it uh, pans out. So again, I'm putting three turns in of the, the shoulder.
Four turns. And lock in with the tinsel. Yeah. And three turns. Put up. that through the hackle, actually. Yeah, that's like that. So I'll be in. Pull it tight. Secret is not to cut the, the tip too short because what will happen eventually, it, it very often just sort of comes adrift and uh, you lose the hackle then. So uh, cut it quite long and it'll stay in place. I'm just giving that a little brush up. It's got a real sheen on it, that uh, cock hackle. Is it, is yeah. it natural black or is it dyed? Oh, that's a, that's a dyed black, yeah. I do like the Cape McLaren. As I, as I was saying to Mark just before the lesson started, I fished it in uh, Loch Garland in Scotland and the fish just nailed it. I must have had about 17 or something. They were they were smallest trout, but uh, I had a good one at the end that came off at the last second. Isn't that typical? It's still a very popular fly. I mean, not just confined to uh, Scotland. Um, mm. Certainly use a, it, it quite a bit in Wales as well. So uh, I'm going to put a, an orange Cree hackle in just to ring the changes. I'll just cut that out a little bit shorter. Three turns, just make it a little bit. So. Stiffer. You okay, Peter? Uh, I'm starting again. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm catching up at the moment. You're all going off at this different pace, you know, it's like herding cats. <laughs> but that's what the recording's for, so you can do it in your own time. <laughs> there we go. Very nice. Perfect. It's easy for me just sitting here, just recording this week. <laughs> Very nice. I mean, that's the Cape McLaren, but, you know, the, the uh, as Del Boy would say, you know, the world's your lobster. You can use any colour seals for any colour tail, any hackle. You can mix and match and uh, all manner of different uh, styles. What I forgot to do was the uh, split the hackle for a, a thinned down version. To show you, never mind, we'll do it again. There we go. Thoughts and comments? Everyone happy? I'll yeah. catch up. I'll catch up. How are you doing, Dan? I think I've managed to tie my first ever neat Kate McLaren. Fantastic. Good man. Yeah. Going to show it up to the camera, Dan? Are you feeling that? Uh... Mm. Can that? I don't know how to get it to show nicely. Oh, I like that, Dan. Oh, nice. Lovely. I, I might that, have to borrow that from you. What a lovely colour on the, on the head. That looks a nice brown. That was just a, a red game on the red head. Red game, yeah. It's the doll mark. Very, very nice indeed. I've, it was a good tip. I've never noticed um, tying the cock feathers in pointing back instead of pointing forwards that made a, a big difference to the amount of bulk at the tie-in. Right, good, good. Anyone else like to show anything? No, Michael. No, that was a definite no. <laughs> mm. 
That was all quite quick, so I'm going to slow and steady it. Mm. Right. Oh, nice, Michael. Hang on. Let's it see. I didn't show it. Oh, go on. That, that looks Scruffy. good. Scruffy. Go on, Michael. I'm, 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 away. Yeah. Where's it gone? What old is that? Good. Not really. Oh, very nice. It's all right. Got a lot it's of character. <laughs> Never mind. Nice. Yeah. Gavin would prefer a bead on it. Yes, he would. Plenty of tungsten. <laughs> <laughs> Gavin, are you going to take that? You, that's a little bit of. You can. There's a button where you can report abuse. I think. On the <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely abuse. Yeah, that's not abuse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is this where I admit that I've never caught a fish on a wet fly? No, Dan, it isn't. That's as not the board. Is that true, Dan? Never ever. Well, yeah, can, you leave, can you leave it up there? Yeah. Just, just finishing uh -huh. that off. Put it back up. Mark, could you put the Kate McLaren back in the vice, please? Certainly. I beg your pardon. Hold on. Where is it? Yep. Spin back. Incidentally, I, I've just noticed now the um, the golden pheasant head and crest. I'll just put them up. There you go. I always dye mine. So the crest I've dyed with fluorescent yellow. And that's a fluorescent orange. If I think I've got an old somewhere. An undyed head. And over time, it will fade. If you if you look at the, the feathers there, how faded they are. Mark, what do you use to dye your feathers? Uh, the the Benyard. Benyard dyes, yeah. Yeah, I like that orange there on the, on the, on the front. Nice. Yeah, that's a, an orange Cree cape. Crumbs. Yeah, that is. And did you dye that, Mark? Yeah. I had a job lot of capes many years ago, and I've, I've managed to dye them up different colours now. I've had um, whites, natural black, badgers, greenwell, um, cree, gingers, I think. So I, I, I bought about, um, I think he was getting on for 100 capes or so off a friend. Wow. So I've managed to sort of dye them up different colours at uh, various points. How, how quickly would you go through those if you're tying 9,000 flies a year as you were, were doing at one stage? Well, the chap used to ring me up just before Christmas. And I asked him to do it sooner because, I mean, you know, the season in Ireland starts in, on uh, February the 15th, 16th. So they're, they're all raring to go, you know, next week. And, um, you know, the duck flies and, and those sort of things, they, they want those sort of straight away. But um, obviously the mayflies, I, I could uh, leave a little bit longer. But, um, mm. yeah, it, 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 it got harder and harder. I, I think I was still doing a lot of bulk mayflies, you know, sort of, end of April, ready for May. <laughs> it was catch up all the time, you know, that number of yeah. flies. And a hundred capes you'd go through, what, in, in how, how long would, would it take to go through that many? If, if you're um, 
So, I, I, I'm just trying to think of some of the patterns I, I use. What I tended to do was buy bulk hackles from, from vineyards. I mean, that's 100 grams of loose cock hackles. Golly. So... Would they give you a particular size range in a bag? No, they're all assorted. So what I had to do was put them out on the table, put them into small groups, and then grade them into, you know, possible 14s, possible 12s, obviously 10s, you know, being bigger, and just do it like that and discard the bigger ones out of the way and then start again. Like I did with that French partridge. That, uh, that's, <laughs> that's right, exactly that was a good right. Puzzle, which I'm yet to put to good use. Uh, yeah, and I, I'm, I'm just picking up tips there on, on your handling of the, the tinsel and, and just pulling it a little bit before tying it off and pulling that cot ha hackle tight. I think you put maybe one turn on, pulled it tight, then another turn on just to make it tight again and then secure it yeah. again. Um, yeah, very, very good. And I, I would normally tie it on the top, actually, the the wire or, or the... Um, right, OK. Normally. Um, and I saw you tying it on the side there. It probably makes it easier, the first wrap at the back. First wrap is easier. That's right, yeah. If you tie it on the, tap, on the top, you're catching it further around where you can't see it. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And you put a bit of a dent in the hackle there to start with, just to start it on its way with your thumb. Yeah, I mean, some hackles are fine. You know, they'll they'll wrap round, if, especially using your, your fingers rather than hackle pliers. But yeah. um, I mean, if they do twist around, very often they, you know, they will do, just put a little nick into the side to help to put it on its way. It's... Yeah. It's easier to show rather than describe, but, um, you know, they do have a habit, especially if you don't put enough turns on at the start to hold it in place, it'll spin round on itself. Mm. So instead of it pointing backwards as a, as a wet fly should, it spins round. So the, uh, the concave side comes up that way when it should be that oh, way. No. Yeah, no, you don't want that. That's, that's yep. all I thought. Uh, let's let's check in with everyone, shall we? Michael looks like he's uh, busy. Yeah, try to another one. Trying to do a little better. Guys, of all things, I've had a message come up um, from Huey. Yeah, he's been enjoying these, but again, we'll say hello, Huey, and hope you, hope your uh, relative gets better there because he can always catch this on YouTube. Hmm. Or recording later. Yeah. How are you doing, Jason? Look like you're sitting back and relaxing there now. Yeah, yeah I'm done. Do you something? <laughs> <laughs> have you got a fly that you're with? The deed is done. So, let's have a look. Mm. Oh, no, just hold it back a bit from the camera, Jace. Um, I'll just get it in focus. Great. Right. The, the hackles to um, the red hackles are a bit um, big on that one. Yeah, yeah I, I try. That's I, all right. It's, it's um. It's what I've been given. It's uh, yeah, my <laughs> pop, <laughs> <the> job. <laughs> nice proportions there, apart from me giving you a too long hackle there. What a donkey. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. How are you finishing the fly off? Using a half hitch? You using your hands? Just half hitch with my hands. Always, <laughs> it's how I've always done it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's fair enough. I didn't have a whip finish in there. In your in your kit, Mark has Mark has finished. Finished. The yellow part's not showing very well, which is a shame. Okay. Point of my choice of yellow. But anyway, she's there. All right. Yep. Well, that's good, Mark. Well, that's good. That's fine. Yeah. I'm not seeing everybody's. Where are they? Just leave it there for a minute, Mark, so Peter can see it, if you don't mind. Oh, I could, yeah, hold on, let me get him back. I'd like to see what people do. Yeah. Can we share on later? I'd, I'd like to see what people do. 
Don't worry, Peter. I, I'm pinning Mark if you don't Love mind, Mark. Mark, so we can see your fly. That's that's. Hold on, hold on, Mark. Mark, Mark Turner. I would say that's probably. Oh, well, what done, you're for. well done. Yeah, superb. Nice, Mark. Superb. Very Maybe good. The picture oh, yeah. of yellow Peter. We've got, got someone rather gifted who's started time. Yeah. Yeah, that's a... Well, he's going to be good, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. I, I... In, in all honesty, you know, with, with the, the golden pheasant crest, get used to tying it in rather short because it, if you get into the habit of it getting longer and longer, I mean, it, it goes all over the place and um, can often snap as well, actually, and you, you end up with... Just a five or a two. Maybe it's the light I'm looking at. It's not not so bad. You can see it, right? Is it there? Is it? You can see That's it. fine. Yeah. Good, good. Good well, I think the towel's too long, Mark, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that looks all right to me, Peter, from what I can see. Towel not too long? Yeah, maybe just a little tad shorter. Who's he talking about, my one? Just a tad shorter. Oh, you're shorter. perfect, Mark. Oh, hang on, let me, let me pin you, it's Peter. It's not one he's Peter. Can't see you. Yeah, do, show yours again, Peter. Yes. Just, uh... That's Peter. Lovely profile. I'm yeah. sure you've heard that before. Well done. Great stuff. That's a quite a easy little fly, really, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Certainly. I like it. Well done, Mark. I like that. But, I've never caught, know, fish. Never caught Compared fish. with a, a claret bumble, then, you know, it is a lighter version of that. Mm. If you look at, you know, the claret bumble and fiery brown bumble, those sort of flies, they're, they're really quite chunky. If I can just... Mark. If I just put up a... If I just put up a, um, a fiery brown bumble. Just hold it there. You know, that, that's quite a, a chunky. There's a few turns of that. in that. That's a fiery... Fiery brown and a red hackle tied together with a gross hackle at the front. Oh, the shoulder. Nice. Is that uh, you dyed the old uh, crest there red? That's right, yeah. Is that on a 12, Mark, there? That's on a 12 as well, yeah, yeah. That's nice, isn't it? Gosh, yes, that's a bushy old uh, Yeah, yeah. That's it. Well, the idea is to, you know, stimulate a wake, you know, a sort of disturbance at the top of the water, over the wave, and get those trout interested. And very often they'll they'll take, you know, the, the second dropper or the point <laughs> just by, you know, being stimulated from, you know, down below. Mm. 